Hey, what is up YouTube? This is Tony, and today I have some very exciting news to share with you guys. A new iOS 11 developer jailbreak has been released by Coolstar, and it is called Electra. Now, Electra is special because this is the first developer jailbreak, which allows you to install tweaks and themes. And this is because Coolstar himself has created and implemented his own alternative to Mobile Substrate, which allows for some packages to run on iOS 11. The main purpose of this jailbreak is to allow tweak and theme developers to update and test their packages on iOS 11, and which as you guys can see, this jailbreak utility accomplishes this flawlessly. As an example, I'm currently running a few tweaks, Noctis 11, Dark Messages, No Page Dots, and have the Lotus theme installed as well. And the amazing thing, this jailbreak even includes a safe mode. So if you install something that is not supported, it will not put your device into a boot loop. Now, this jailbreak utility, like the previous ones in the past few months, takes advantage of publicly released exploits and will only work on 64-bit devices running iOS 11 to 11.1.2. So stick around guys, I would suggest to watch this video in its entirety as I'm going to go over some of the major things you need to know before you go on your way installing tweaks and themes. In this video in particular, I'm going to go over how to install this jailbreak utility, explain what this utility does and what it comes with, talk about what it's missing, and lastly discuss what else is left before we receive a final jailbreak utility for the end user running iOS 11. I will have some follow-up videos coming very shortly on how to manually install tweaks and themes, but for now, let's start with the basics and at least get this jailbreak utility installed on your devices before we get into the advanced stuff. Alright, so first up, I'm going to show you how to install this jailbreak utility on your devices. Remember, you have to have a 64-bit device and it has to be running iOS 11 to 11.1.2 for this to work. So to get started, you can check out the link in the description, head over to Coolstar's official page for Electra, and here you can download the IPA. As you can see, it is for iOS 11 to 11.1.2 and it's compatible with all iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and iPad Mini models running iOS 11 to 11.1.2. Anyway, taking a look at Electra's official page, there is a download button for the IPA. I'll go ahead and get that started right now just so we have that up and running. But before I jump into how to install, I just want to say taking a look at this page, you can see that there are a number of betas that have been released since Electra's initial release. As of recording this video, we are currently on beta 5. And just scrolling down, you can see that each beta, there have been even some revisions to some of the betas. So like I said, since its initial release, there have been a ton of betas and a ton of bug fixes. And that is kind of why I've taken my time to record this video, because I really wanted to test out Electra's stability and its usefulness before reporting on it. Anyway, at the very bottom, you can see more information about it. And at the very end, you can see that Coolstar gives out some shout outs and credits to some of the major developers that have played a crucial part in making this jailbreak utility possible. Anyway, to go ahead and get the download and installation process started, you can go ahead and click this download button right here. Like I said, this will begin the download process of the IPA file to your computer. And once that file is downloaded, it should be pretty quick. I just went ahead and dragged that file to my desktop. And this jailbreak utility will install just like all other semi-untethered jailbreak utilities. In the past, we will be using Cydia Impactor, so that is the only other thing you will need on your computer before we begin the installation process. So now that you have all the things required to install this, I will go ahead and launch up Cydia Impactor. You, of course, will now have to connect your device to the computer and trust the connection to the computer. Once that is completed, your device will show up in Cydia Impactor. And now that it shows up, you can easily drag the IPA file into Cydia Impactor enter your credentials, and the installation process will begin to install Electra on your iOS device. Once that has completed, the Electra logo will show up on your iDevice that you have installed. I am using my iPhone 10 right here, running iOS 11.1.2. But before we open up Electra and have the ability to jailbreak, we have to go into the settings app and trust the certificate. So you can go ahead and open up the settings app, head to general, and then navigate to device management, and then trust your developer account. Once that is done, now we can access Electra. So heading to the home screen and I open up Electra. So really once Electra is open, you really only have a couple options. You can click jailbreak, and the only toggle available is to implement tweaks or not. This will just enable tweaks and themes or not. If you have this disabled, the only feature that will be enabled with Electra is its SSH capabilities. Anyway, for the first jailbreak, it doesn't really matter either way, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is and click jailbreak. 
So once the jailbreak process has started, it will go through a few steps and your device will reboot. And once it is rebooted, your device is now jailbroken on iOS 11 to 11.1.2. SSH capabilities will be enabled, and you will notice that the anemone icon has appeared on your springboard. Now, the only thing this jailbreak does not come with is Cydia. Cydia will not be installed, and that is because Cydia and Mobile Substrate have yet to be updated to run on iOS 11. That being said, this jailbreak does include a Mobile Substrate alternative called LibSubstrate, which allows for tweaks and themes to run. Granted, there are not too many tweaks and themes that are supported to run on this yet or on iOS 11 in general. Anyway, I'll get into more details about what is supported and what isn't later in this video. For now, now that we have this jailbreak installed and that you are jailbroken, I will go over some of the major key points that you should know about Electra. So again, as a recap, Electra is the first developer jailbreak which allows you to install tweaks and themes, and that is because Coolstar himself has created and implemented his own alternative to Mobile Substrate, which allows for some packages to run on iOS 11. It also has SSH capabilities, which is how for now you install these tweaks and themes as Cydia is not included with it. And that is because Cydia and Sorix Mobile Substrate has yet to be updated for iOS 11. It does, however, come with Anemone pre-installed, but as you guys will quickly figure out, no themes are present after the initial jailbreak, and that is, like I said, because you have to manually install said themes. Anyway, as a quick refresher, Anemone is like a winter board alternative. It's a quick app that lets you view your installed themes and enable them. So essentially, if you want to develop themes or tweaks, this is an awesome developer jailbreak to accomplish just that. Now this jailbreak utility, like the previous ones in the past, takes advantage of publicly released exploits and will only work on 64-bit devices running iOS 11 to 11.1.2. It most notably takes advantage of Ian Beer's async wake exploit, which I've talked about in previous jailbreak updates. Lastly, as a quick note on stability, this jailbreak in itself is very stable. It has had 5 beta releases in the past few days, which have weeded out a lot of bugs initially found in its initial release. It even comes with a safe mode, so if you do install something that is not supported, your device will not go into a boot loop. Anyway, I really wanted to take a few days to test out Electra's stability and usefulness, so that is why I intentionally waited to release a video on this jailbreak. As a fair warning, however, given the fact that you have to manually SSH into your device to install tweaks and themes, this jailbreak utility should not be used unless you really know what you're doing, as you could very easily mess up your device to the point you have to restore to Apple's latest firmware, being iOS 11.2.2, which of course does not support this jailbreak. So if you want to install tweaks and themes right now, you have to be very careful at what you install, and you have to ensure you don't accidentally delete or add anything, as that could very easily crash your device. With all that being said, the main points to take out of all of this is yes, it is possible to install tweaks and themes on iOS 11 to 11.2.2 on all 64-bit devices, including the iPhone 10. However, it is very risky to do so as you must SSH into your device and manually install these packages. Like I said, the biggest thing this jailbreak is missing is Cydia, and that is because Cydia and Sorix Mobile Substrate has yet to be updated for iOS 11. Once Sorix finishes updating that, this jailbreak utility really won't be necessary. If you guys remember, Morpheus has also released Liber iOS, which could very easily be the final end-user jailbreak utility for iOS 11 once Cydia is updated to run on it. Also, Sorik has announced to the community that he is working with an undisclosed developer to update Cydia and explains he has found a better and more stable alternative than what Coolstar has released. That being said, this jailbreak utility is very stable. It has not crashed on me yet. The biggest concern is how risky it is to install tweaks and themes. It is also very complicated and time consuming to do so and not that many tweaks are supported right now. Even so, I still find it very entertaining to install what does work right now and so do a lot of users on our jailbreak. There's an entire Google Sheets document put together by one user listing all the tweaks that are currently supported by iOS 11, so before you guys venture out on doing this, I would highly suggest to look at that document to see if it's even worth your time. I personally just think it's very fun to be one of the first to jailbreak your device and install tweaks and themes. 
Anyway, I will be having some follow-up videos on how to do just that, so make sure to subscribe and follow me on my social media pages, as well as hit that bell icon next to my channel name to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Again, I'll be one, if not the first YouTuber to create a step-by-step -step jailbreak tutorial once Cydia is updated to run on iOS 11, so stay tuned. If there's anything I missed, or if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below, and if I have time, I'll try to respond to them. Anyway, guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.